Some of you know I've been working on a Nexus 7 installation for my Tacoma. Um, here it is. Uh, I promised I'd shoot a video of kind of what I was doing with it and you know the reasons why I decided to go this route as opposed to a traditional head unit. But uh, I'm almost finished up, so I figured I'd give you guys a look and uh, let me know what you think. So from uh, starting the car up from you know complete cold, just turning it over and giving it a start. Unit comes right on. Uh, that's in part to the uh, kernel that uh, Timur has developed. Uh, and I'll have information on his kernel and uh, you know, specifics on what it does for you in the link to this video. But um, part of what it does is it puts the tablet into a deep sleep mode where it's using basically no energy over an extended period of time. Uh, so even if your car is off for a really long time, uh, it doesn't really use any energy. But it also prevents you from having to do a full startup uh, from a you know cold boot, basically, which takes a pretty mo pretty long time, as you might imagine. Uh, like this comes right on, and you're ready to go. As you can see, kind of down here, I've installed a little microphone uh, that essentially lets me have voice activation for features, uh, search, and whatnot on the tablet. Uh, works pretty well. I'll have a link to which. Uh, which microphone I've decided to use for this application. Uh, powered microphone, if you're using an external DAC, is a pretty good idea. Um, helps boost the input and uh, makes it easier on the uh, makes it easier for voice recognition. Now, what you're looking at here is actually a background. Uh, thank you to Matt Bowden who did some Photoshop skills and uh, <laughs> helped me get to this far. Uh, it's actually just a picture that I've done uh, a little bit of. Uh, launcher magic with. I've, I've used clear uh, widgets on the home screen such that you can uh, overlay them in different areas, change them, make them do whatever you want. Uh, so if I were to click on um, you know the settings tab or something like that, it would bring down uh, the settings menu for the uh, for the tablet. Now if I were to click on Plex, that would bring us into Plex. I don't have anything here right now to show you there. Um, Spotify, like you might imagine, um, puts you in here. It says we're offline. I'm not sure why that is. Let me toggle that. Oh, there we go. I guess LT hadn't started for whatever reason. Uh, but as you might imagine, it's pretty easy just to you know get what you need out of Spotify or something, and uh, things work just like you'd imagine. But uh, primarily, I'm going to be using Power Amp as my music player. Uh, it's very easy to use, you know, swipe left or right uh, to go back and forth between songs, uh, hitting the play button uh, will start playback. Um, there are some EQ options in the application itself. I don't use those all that often, though. Uh, what is nice. I've got a little hidden button here that lets me jump into the application store here. Uh, I do have uh, an external flash drive that's 256 gigs. Uh, that really gives you the ability to uh, store a huge amount of data, um, you know, whether it's media files, movies, and or music on the tablet. That I mean, you just weren't able to do that before with the amount of internal storage that these devices come with these days. Um, Timur's kernel also gives you the ability to do that, it, and it automatically mounts the storage for you. Um, part of that kernel is uh, this here, which you see is called Power Event Manager. Uh, it gives you charging statistics, how much the external power uh, is charging the device, you know, your device's battery right then. It also gives you the uh, ability to see, you know, kind of are you making headway or are you losing ground on your charging. So right now we are charging at a rate of um, 548 milliamp hours. So that that's how much uh, charging is coming in. Uh, as you can see now it just jumped up a little bit. So it is real time uh, giving you the ability to see that. Uh, you can change the CPU governor um, and a handful of other things. As you can see here, that that's the device, that's the flash drive that we have mounted, that all the, the music files and whatnot are stored in. 
You also have the ability to disable um, some wake alarms that would normally bring the device out of a deep sleep mode and uh, cause it to use some battery, even if the device isn't currently being used, like if your car is off overnight. Uh, navigation, you know, just like you might expect, right? The uh, Google Maps is what I'm going to be using. You can search for anything and uh, you know, look at the website information, you know, where it is, you know, real time with the actual uh, map itself. Very cool stuff. You know, it's kind of exactly what everybody would want. Google Maps is pretty much the best. Uh, for text, I'm using Mighty Text, and uh, for browser, I'm using Chrome. Voice search actually works pretty well. Um, Trek Top Fuel 8. Here are some matching pictures. So if I was looking for something like that, um, yeah, brings it right up. All in all, I'm pretty well digging the setup right now. Uh, it's very easy for me to use and uh, a lot of great features. Hope you enjoy it.